That is cool. How was that? <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't realize it's like roads out here. Yeah, I know. This is crazy. This is the cabin, huh? Yep, this is the cabin. Wow. This was so cool, man. I know. That cabin, you just go in, do whatever you want to do. Just, just wow. venture around in this. Now, they built it out here for people to just come and... Yep, just a public, public place. Wow. Alrighty, I'll grab that. Get all this stuff here. Mm. Yeah, we'll hang out here for a little bit. This is like way cool, man. Yeah, I know, it is sweet out here. Wow. We have a little swing set and everything out here. <laughs> oh yeah, let me leave this leave this here. Oh wow. This is uh too too cool. Wow. This is where all the boats come, right here. So that's where everybody goes. This is where everyone goes. I'm like, where do they go? They go and they go all day long. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, they have a barbecue thingy here. Yep. <laughs> I would have never known. I know. I would have never, ever known. There's okay. another one right down there, too. There is? So, yeah. so they have several of them out here. Mm -hmm. This is just way too cool, man. Oh. <laughs> I'll look around the cabin. Yeah, go ahead. This go is like on. just way too cool. They even have like cooking facility facilities out here. A little room inside for shelter. You go inside, you want. Now what's in there? Like a little room? Yeah. They got like a little bed in there. They even have a bed in there. It's like a house. <laughs> it's a cabin. They come out here and hunt and they camp out here. Wow. So here we are at the cabin out at the um what is this area? Is this uh is this considered part of St. John's? What is this? Yeah. So they have the cabin. And right there is Kinsford's Ranch. Is what? Kinsford's Ranch. Kinsford's Ranch? Kinsford's Ranch is right over there. Wow. So they built this really nice recreational area out here with the uh, cabin in the wood. Got a larger hut than um, Camp Freedom 2. I really appreciate you bringing me out here, man. This is like, I would have never, ever guessed. No problem, man. It's like, you got all this stuff out here. It's like a whole nother world. <laughs> now, now when I look at the boaters and, and the people out there, I'm like, oh, so they're not just sitting out there on the boat all day long. Yeah. I'm like, what do they do out there? <laughs> Check out this building. Like way too cool. Ugh. It's got room for people to hang out, sit and chill. And there's even bed in here. You could come and go to sleep. They have electricity out here? Ah, I don't know if you heard that they um, people bring Honda generators and they can actually hook up to the cabin out here. And then you have electricity. There's like lights. It's a little house out here. Uh, this is open to the public, by the way. So if you get out here and you have an airboat. <laughs> Here's a, a Yeti cooler. <laughs> uh, is this awesome or what? This is incredible. It's a, it's a Yeti. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> yeah, here. No, no, it's a little styrofoam one uh, someone made. <laughs> someone put Yeti on it. Like awesome. 
Now, is that always wet and stuff like that down there, or does it actually dry out? And... Oh, normally it's this is super wet out here. Normally it's down. See where that grass is in the water right there? Uh huh. It's way down. I mean, it's down there. It's like last time we were here. I mean, he walked across it. It's like knee deep. Now it's freaking neck deep. You know? Wow. This is just awesome, man. I, I wish I had like this kind of stuff when I was a kid. <laughs> This is great. So is this like where you come out and then all the other boaters come out and you guys just meet out here? Meet out here and just hang out. It's awesome. Wow. Yeah, we cook food and... yeah I've seen it. Is this like one of the cabins, you know, at the, the Three Forks thing? They have that wall with that display and it says like there's cabins out there. Is this one of those cabins? or uh, Probably, yeah. I, I have never seen it, but yeah. Because there's like two or three of them that they have on the, um, yeah. the chart. Two right here. There's one here and then you see that other one down there. Another one right down there. And them neighbors. Then we'll go to, uh, go through this trail right here. It's really pretty trail. This next ride's my favorite. We'll ride through here, then we'll cut across and go to these big, this big dike called uh -huh. C2. So they basically, like, made trails out here for the airboats? Yeah, for the airboats, I guess, yeah. I'd be afraid of coming out here and getting lost. <laughs> oh, I've been out here since I was like, I mean. So you know, you know baby, all yeah. the. Like, you know 192? Yeah. 192 is right there. Right here? Right, right. I mean, good ways, little ways that way, yeah. This is just cool. I mean, we're like halfway between Malabar and 192. Yeah, I used to be a mailman, and I would get so disoriented. They're like, you're like the worst. What I wouldn't know what, yeah, know what Because, well, you know, you're delivering mail, so you're going from house to house, and I'm just following the road. You just, basically, people think the mailman knows the road. You don't. You follow the mail. <laughs> <laughs> it goes from house to house, and you just deliver. People always come and say, hey, where's the street? And I'm like, uh... I'm going here. Or, or they come up to me and say, hey, can you get me my mail? I'm at the street. The problem is the way the mail's arranged, it's not by street, it's by, by route. So it'll go down one street, and then another street, and then five other streets, and then come back to the first street. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They go, well, I'm just at this street. I'm like, well, I don't know where that is in here, in this tray, because I'm not the regular mailman. I'm just an assistant, you know. So I just follow the mail. <laughs> this is, like, awesome. What a cool place. <laughs> 